Before imaging mass cytometry, there was literally two types of data. We could get a lot of structural information from an image, or we could get a lot of information from single cells, but then lose the spatial information. Imaging mass cytometry has a lot of potential in, in discovery of biomarkers, and we're very excited about its potential to multiplex. And the importance of doing more than one at a time is not only the fact that you're measuring more than one at a time, but the relationship to each other. So I see the IMC system as a discovery tool that can provide information about which molecules are most important to predict response to therapy. We use the Hyperion system to analyze the complexity of the tumor ecosystem. And we do this for large cohorts of patients so that we can understand which features of the tumor ecosystem are predictive uh, of the disease progression and outcome. We're looking to use the Hyperion system to understand tumor biology, tumor complexity, and really help us understand what therapeutic approaches will benefit patients and hopefully using this technology come up with promising biomarkers. Having used this instrument for 11 months, uh, we've already made great insights, new insights into the, our understanding of uh, one autoimmune disease, which is type 1 diabetes. The immune system works by an immune cell physically touching and interacting with a cancer cell. You really need to ideally see that or to see the distribution of the immune cells to try to understand um, the nature of that immune response. If you want to see all these cells and the tumor cells themselves, which have their own markers, you need very quickly a panel that's exceeding 20, 30, and up to 40 markers. There is no other technology that's available um, that allows you to do that and have the spatial resolution.